Peggy 18. Tactical camera's back. Mm. Um, what was the rationale for bringing it back? We do speak to our fans a lot and we looked at um, what people loved about Dragon Age Origins and what they loved about Dragon Age 2. And there was definitely a sense that people wanted to be more thoughtful in combat. So the tactical camera is a great way to do that. So it allows you to pull the camera all the way up, pause the game and have a think about the battlefield and sort of pan around and sort of see what's happening, what, what enemies you're, you're facing against, where they're positioned, you know, what they're doing. And then issue orders to particular characters in your party. You know, examples of it would be, you know, there might be a choke point uh, and you want to sort of bunch up the enemies, you know, in that sort of choke point so you can rain fiery death down on them. So you, know, you can send your warrior forward, hold the ground at that choke point. Whilst they're doing that, then you can maybe send your, your ranged attackers up on sort of cliffs or high ground and start slaughtering people. The nice thing is baseline, you can kind of pick how you want to play. Mm -hmm. If you're an action player, you can play without tactical cam and you're going to get all the stuff that's sweet with action. If you like to, you know, Take time out of the equation, moment to moment, think through every single move, then Tactical Cam lets you do that. Um, I'm kind of more straight in the middle, so I'll start off a fight in Tactical Cam, you know, scout the area, see what I'm up against, uh, you know, then I'll maybe dive in with action after putting in a couple commands through Tactical Cam. And then if things get really crazy, sometimes I need to just take a step back and be like, okay, everybody stop, <laughs> because I need to know what to do now. It can be somewhat of a, a, a pressure valve for players, you know, they can feel sometimes overwhelmed with how much is going on. Every now and then if I get into tough spots or tough combat encounters, that's when I'll pull up the tactical camera and be like, okay, well, what do I need to do here and, and be a bit more thoughtful. We've added uh, movement lines into the tactical camera. So when you when you tell someone to go move to a certain spot or hold a certain spot, it will draw a line about how they're going to get to that spot, uh, which is good information to have about, you know, path of enemies and, and, and your characters. And then we've also added in a an ability when they're panning around in the tactical camera, they can hover over enemies and they can see information on that enemy. Uh, and the more that you research and the more that you fight that, that type of enemy, the more information is going to be available to you. Um, so you may see things like their health, their armor, what strengths and weaknesses they have. It's extra information, it's another layer on top of the original tactical camera. We've added in a kind of like a slow-mo to the tactical camera that allows you to plan out your moves and then pull the trigger and it sort of advances time a little bit and you just release the trigger and it pauses it again. And that's been a really interesting feature because what we found is that players go in and out of tactical combat a lot more than they used to in the previous games. So in Origins it was very much like players would either play in tactical or in action in real time. Um, and they the never really go between the two. In Inquisition, we're finding that they're definitely going in and out a hell of a lot more. So I think that'll feel a lot more fluid uh, and a lot more seamless experience as they, as they play through.